20 athletes tested their physical limits recently in Thorold in a series of strongman events called Canal City Strongest. I think the people just want something a little different, you know, and a little bit more fun. So this is usually, we're usually outdoors, out in the sun, you know, rain, shine, snow, sleet, whatever. We're out here having fun. Uh, the events are a little bit different than just a regular barbell and plates. So it requires a little bit more functional strength and brute strength. Uh, and it's, it's just a lot more fun, you know. A lot of athletic competitions mm -hmm have a number of divisions for weight looking around me it almost seems like this is kind of a one-size-fits-all <laughs> sport that's absolutely the case right now um, in recent years we've had a lot of growth in terms of uh, weight class competitions so when I first started competing about 15 years ago in here in Canada you mostly only had open weights so you could be 160 pounds competing against guys who are over 300 pounds uh, but now that we've had a few organizations come into play uh, we, it's really opened up the doors for people to compete in the different weight classes against people more their, more their size. With so many events at a competition like today, how do you structure your training? A big part of it comes down to just being strong and you know, exposing yourself to as many events as possible. Uh, we, we have a series of competi uh, sorry, we have a series of events today, but the next competition I go to might have none of these events. So depending on where you go, who the promoter is, who's running it, you could see an entirely different set of events. So your skill set has to be very broad and you have to be, um, you have to be able to learn quickly. <laughs> Wes Derwinski and his girlfriend Paige Milliboom are doing their part to provide a venue for Niagara athletes to compete. We want to put on a lot more shows locally. It's, um, especially as a woman, it's hard to compete in the area. Um, I've had more success over the border than close to the Niagara region. So we want to give athletes around here, like we've, we pulled 20 athletes, no problem. So I think we can keep pulling athletes who want to compete and want to do strongman. And if we can keep putting on events, that gives them opportunities to compete. And then maybe one day qualify for provincials, nationals, if we get involved with their federation. Sonia Romanowski competed in numerous sports before turning her attention to strongman. Um, I find that this is really empowering for myself uh, and I think it's really empowering for a lot of women to know that like you have the ability and the strength to, to do this. Like I never thought I could ever pull a truck and, and I did and it was really cool. Like so I find that it's just, it helps me, it helps with my identity to know that like I can do what I want to do and push myself to those uncomfortable limits. Was there anyone that gave you that nudge to get into this sport, or did you do it on your own? Uh, my partner, um, uh, my partner Andrew Wilson, he started Strongman before me, and like just going to his shows, like everything he was doing, he was like, I want to do that. <laughs> this looks like fun. So that that kind of, and then he's very encouraging as well. So we kind of train together, or or we'll train on different schedules. So it's it's nice to then have something to come home to and talk about what we did that day. Athletes are the sport's biggest ambassadors. They help spread the word and readily share their experience with newcomers to strongman. Like some competitions, you're just trying to, to beat, beat people, right? Um, strongman is very much, we try to help each other. It's a very, it's almost like a family type competition where you want to beat people at their best. You want to help your direct competition to be the best they can so that you can all grow together as athletes. In Niagara, you're watching The Source on your TV.